Hi everyone, in this tip video I wanted to show you the process I use to paint a realistic looking walnut with great 3D effects. Given that the colours in a walnut are all fairly similar, you could be forgiven for thinking that that makes them easy to paint. Actually, the sheer amount of detail in their shells makes them pretty tricky to paint and is guaranteed to help you hone your observation skills. A key tip I have is to enlarge your walnut. If you want to stand any chance of capturing all that detail to make your painting realistic, I recommend scaling up to around four times as big. Working from a macro photo makes this loads easier. First, I made a really detailed drawing. I spent plenty of time on it and I made sure I captured as many of the markings as I could. Because lots of the markings on the shell are very dark, I shaded some with my pencil, knowing that the dark watercolour I would paint on top would cover them up. I began painting a pale wash over the top to match to the lightest colours in the shiny highlights on the shell. And then, so that I could see those highlights and make sure I didn't go over them, I applied a second layer when that had dried to everywhere except the highlights. Then, so that I could start to see the broader shapes of shadow within the walnut shell, I applied a slightly darker wash to the main shadow areas, which starts to give the walnut a little form. Next, I go in with my small brush and a super dark mix to pick out the darkest tones, using my drawing as a guide and carefully checking my reference photo. The next stage is to begin to give the walnuts some form by working on the midtones. I start with the darker midtones, then water my mix down some more to work on the lighter midtones. At this stage, I'm completely ignoring all the detailed markings on the shell and I'm focusing on the bigger picture of the lights and darks. We want to hold off from applying more detail now because we will likely need to darken up around that detail with watery paint, which could make those darker details bleed if we painted them on. Whatever mix I'm working with, I make sure that I apply it to dry paper and I gradually darken through applying in layers to make sure I don't darken any areas too much. When I start to feel that I'm not sure if it should be darkened anymore, I use my small brush and the dark mix to add the majority of the details, using my drawing as a guide. But with this darker detail added, it's clear that the contrast levels are too strong, and it's now easier to judge just how much darker to take the rest of my shell. So I go back to my mid-tone mixes and my slightly larger brush to darken the darker mid-tones and then the lighter mid-tones, changing the colours in my mix to match the reference photo. Then with the mid-tones as dark as they need to be, I can add in the finer details with the dark mix again. Then with a last bit of darkening up to a few of the mid-tones, the walnut is done. If you'd like to take on the challenge of this walnut, then the step-by-step -step tutorial, including the reference photo and a drawing to trace, are available as part of my online school. If you've enjoyed this tip video, please visit animationart.com where you can sign up for a free step-by-step -step tutorial, check out the equipment I recommend, view more tip videos, get inspired by my portfolio and lots more. Thanks for watching.